Auckland 100.6 FM. The Kitchen and Garden Show. Every Saturday on Radio Live from 6 a.m. Radio Live, the new voice of talk radio. Right now, we're talking garden design. Penny Cliffin joins us from Unitech New Zealand. Good morning. Good morning, Tony. Great to be on the show. I tell you, it's nice to talk to you too. And apologies for not getting in touch with you last week. However, the good news is we did today, which is great. Now, Penny, I love my career. I love creating beautiful gardens around New Zealand. I really enjoyed our latest season of mucking in and, and designing 10 wonderful new gardens for a brand new series. It's about to come to, well, we don't, we're not too sure as to when it goes to air, but uh, we are very much looking forward to it. It brings great joy and happiness to a lot of people. And I know that I speak to many, many, uh, many, many uh, garden enthusiasts around the country who say to me, I want to change careers. I think I might like to become a garden designer because I'm really enthusiastic about it as well. You guys have got a couple of brilliant courses, a diploma in garden design and a certificate in garden design. What are the differences between the two and what are they all about? Well, Tony, it's great to hear you say that, um, give those examples of people who want to change career because that's what we're in the business of. We have very distinct groups that come to us looking for garden design education. And one of the biggest ones is the people who have been in a career for a while and are looking for something more creative and want to come over to the garden world and um, find out how to make that a career. As well as that, we have school leavers and we also have home gardeners who just want to make their garden uh, a better place to be in. So our certificate in design is designed for two groups. It's for those who do want to just improve their own home garden or who kind of want to improve their home garden but also think that they might get hooked and um, want to do this as a career also. So it's a good sort of step up or a first entry point for our courses. Penny, you know, though, that people do get hooked because the courses are... are, 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 are I, I don't know if it's because they've been particularly well written, but the enthusiasm of everybody that, that, that goes to these courses is infectious, isn't it? It is indeed. We tend to get a, a, you know, a fantastic spirit happening in the classes where everybody's really pleased to be there and um, uh, form good friendships. I had a drink with people who were in the course four or five years ago last week. One was, had come back from Dubai and oh, the others had all got together to talk about what they'd been up to and um, <laughs> still enjoy cool. that camaraderie. This so, is great. This is really yeah. good. So in the certificate of garden design, um, you'll be covering topics such as garden design, the fundamentals of garden design, landscape drawing, which is really helpful, plant selection and garden construction, which is essential. That's correct. Yeah, we feel that those four things are where you need to start when you're looking at garden design. Um, a lot of people come in with some knowledge of one of those areas, um, needing to um, learn a lot more about the others. Landscape drawing is one of the challenging ones for most people, and we sort of recommend that they almost start with that one to get them going, um, to get more confident with the pencil. And um, our courses are moving more and more towards... Um, giving people the skills to be able to represent things in three dimensions, sketching, as well as the plan drawings and ele elevations and so on. So it's a lot of fun getting that side of your skills up. Penny Clifford from Unitech, what is the difference then with what, 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 what else do you get then if you're going, what, what's the difference between the diploma and the certificate? Well, if you start with a certificate, you can credit all of those courses that you've done in towards the diploma. This is good. So you don't have to start again. Fab. And, um... A diploma really does set you up well with a tight set of skills suitable for doing residential design as your career. Mm -hmm. It's two years full time if you launch into it straight off. It's a really intensive two years and our students all tell us that we ask a lot of them, which um, in lots of ways they really need to do to um, come up to the standard that's required for the industry. Um, we take everything that they've that we, I've already mentioned and take it to the next level. So we're learning um, a lot more about garden design, having a lot more experience in a wide range of types of sites that you might encounter as a landscape designer, um, learning a lot more about plants, taking it from individual plants and their sort of um, context and ecologies out to going to gardens and looking at specific plant combinations, which the students love, photographing good gardens with great plant combinations and meeting garden designers. And then the landscape construction area, also with the drawing, getting you to be able to produce a full set of drawings that a garden can be built from. 
This is exciting. You see, I, I've got this big smile on my face right now because I think this is a really great thing. And I love the idea that if I've done the certificate in horticulture, uh, sorry, the certificate in garden design, uh, I can then accredit those, uh, that course to a diploma, which has got to be a really great thing. Yeah, we think the step up function of the two programs works really well in combination. Love it. P- uh, Penny, what about, uh, you guys also offer a, a landscape architecture course as well, a Bachelor of Landscape Architecture. Indeed, and that's when um, students are interested in taking it to a bigger scale of project, um, things like um, urban design, public parks, subdivisions. I've been helping students on a, a botanic garden design project um, in the last semester, so a much bigger pro- um, scale of work therefore needing four full-time years to gain the skills to operate at that level. Okay, Penny, a lot of people, uh, 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 their ears have really pricked up on this, and uh, I know you are looking at changing your career, uh, listening into Penny this morning and thinking to yourself, how do I find out more information about this? I want to become a garden designer. I'll tell you what, I, I have a very happy and fulfilled life doing garden design, and I know that a lot of our Kitchen and Garden Show listeners uh, will want to find out more about it. Where's the best place to go first off? First off, I'd recommend our website, www.unitech.ac.nz. Okay. And there's a lot of information on there. You'll have the opportunity to um, have a a brochure posted out to you. And then I would recommend that you call our, um, our staff for a chat and come in and see us. We love to show people around and um, if you're a school student, uh, we have a program called Student for a Day, right. which enables you to come and sit in on classes and see what it's all about. If it's an adult student, we can also probably arrange for that um, situation also just to give you a real taste. Penny, I, I've got a, another, on my sheet here, I've got uh, landscape.unitech.ac.nz. Is that another website to check out? Yes, it is. I think that might just take you straight to our um, our program pages quicker. Okay, so it's landscape.unitech.ac.nz. The free calling number is 0800 10 95 10, which is so nice and simple to remember, isn't it, Penny? Indeed. Hey, look, great talking to you today, and I hope that we can... Well, we're going to talk to you again next week about this, and let's just uh, remind... And we'll, we'll make a point, too, of uh, posting it onto our website. You can go to radiolive.co.nz to get that link to go to Unitech and change your career for a very uh, fulfilling life in garden design. Penny, you have a great weekend. Thank you. And our staff, we've got a real uh, lineup of our staff coming on the show over the next few weeks, so I'm sure that uh, listeners will enjoy hearing about... Uh, our construction specialist and our plant specialist coming on the show also. Helen and I are looking forward to it very much. Fantastic. Thanks, Tony. Take care.